Okay, this tutorial is going to show you how to tell the difference between sections. And the first thing to do, log in, check your themes, and there is an update available. So go ahead and update now, because Jack's team of programmers is always hard at work updating, creating new things, tweaking things that are already here. So you don't want to miss out on anything by not making sure your site is up to date. So the first thing I'll do is come to Pages, Add New, and I'll just name it Sections, and we'll use Jack Page Builder. Okay, here's a standard brand new page. When you see this, the black sidebar and the gray center and the only thing that you can do with these is throw them in the trash. This is a fixed section. So if I click on add fixed section, okay, here's black sidebar and gray and I can add a module and there are only three modules to choose from because the fixed sections are header, footer, and top menu. So we'll add a header, and that's it. We can't do anything more with it here. Let's go to Theme Jack Biz, and we'll open this in a new tab. So when you want to edit the header, the top menu, and the footer, here's where you do the editing. And the reason for that is that these are common to every page. So we go header, and see so you can do your editing here in this area. And same with top menu and footer. Okay. First blue button here on the left reads add section. Okay. So this looks like this. Okay. So this is a section. And you can edit the settings for the entire section hitting the gear on the yellow bar. You can go through here and make any of your edits, changes, settings, whatever you wish, and save. And you can edit the row settings. So again, you've got choices of colors and paddings and margins and whether you use an image or color. I can add columns and there's a choice of all of these different columns and choice of module. And let's stick in a video. Okay, let's grab a YouTube and we'll stick in a YouTube URL here. You can go through here and add padding and margins, etc. And then save. And if you don't want the section where it shows up, you put your grab it by the yellow sidebar, hold down the left mouse button, and slide the section to where you want it. And then publish and preview changes. Okay, so we don't have any spaces, didn't add any margins or padding, so the video is butted up against the menu and the footer. So that shows you why padding and margins are useful. Okay, now the next one. So we've added a section, we've added a fixed section. Now add a sidebar section. We've got the choice of these nine different layouts. We can add module here, we can add sidebar. In order to do this, you need to have created at least one sidebar to be able to add a sidebar. Show on all devices and save. And then add a column, two choices here. Add a module, I'm going to add a video again. And we'll stick the video there. Now we can add margins and padding. So let's add 20 top and bottom. Show on all devices and save. And again, if you don't like this where it is, 
you move it to where you want it. Click on update, preview changes. Okay, so this is the sidebar section. Okay, so we have a section, that's this one here, and a fixed section, the next one, and the third is the sidebar section, and that one's here. Add a full section, and a full section refers to the entire width of the screen. So this is like where slider jack comes in. So add a module, and you can video slider jack if you want to add text across the, the entire section, you can do that. If you want an image or a gallery, let's choose a gallery. When you add a gallery, you click on Update Gallery, and you go to your media library. Now, I don't have any really appropriate images to use in my gallery. I'm just going to select what's here. These won't be properly sized. We'll stick these guys in too. Okay, so we're going to add those images to the gallery. Okay, and update the gallery. If you want to add caption, you can do that. And click on save. And again, let's move this to someplace else. And click save and update. Preview changes. Okay. So there is the full width gallery. And it's really, you're going to do this, that you have images that are properly optimized for such a large gallery. I added padding, so now this video doesn't bump up against the footer or against what's above it. The last one is import section. So in order to import a section into another page, on this site, I need to have saved a section from another page. So I'm going to save the section and save it. Section exported successfully. Now I will go to the page that I've, I'm editing, click on Import Section, and here I have two local sections that I can import. So I'll click on Accounting. Here is the section that I just imported. I can also click on Server Sections, and if I've exported sections from other sites, I can import them here. And so I'll click on Slider. As long as the information has the same license email address, it can be imported. Let's do Remodeling Demo. So the remodeling slider is remodeling section is being imported from the server. Okay, again, I want to move this to another location, update, and preview changes. Okay, so here's my gallery. Here's my, this is my sidebar and this is the demo slider that I imported and this is my just straight section and that wraps up this tutorial.